Hello and welcome to PSU Intermediate Excel. In the last video we talked about creating range references that refer to a bunch of cells all at the same time. And in this video I'm going to show you some examples because I think uh, it's a concept that's hard to think about when it's uh, written out and you're trying to explain it in words. But it's sort of uh, easy to see how it's done if you just watch somebody do it a couple times. So I'm just going to do it a whole bunch of times. You're going you're gonna to be really bored of watching this get done by the end of this video. But you're, you're going to know how to do it. Of that I'm confident. <coughs> okay, so uh, we've been using the sum function uh, an awful lot. And I'm, I'm going to switch it up um, to something that's, uh, I guess, harder but not much harder, which is the average function, which I think you've already seen before. Uh, average, if I, if I use the average function, so... Um, this is the average function, right? And the average function says whatever is between uh, these two parentheses here, take the average of that, right? So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit escape so you can see what I'm doing a little better. Equals average, open parentheses, the average of 20 and 40. 20 and 40. I, I left click and drag to select that uh, range right there. Uh, so the average of 20 and 40 uh, is 30. Um, for uh, statisticians out there, people that are studying statistics, this is actually the arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean. But for, for most people, th this is the average. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and use that average function, and I've got all these different uh, uh, multi-cell groups over here, and we're going to just do this a bunch of times. So uh, first I'm going to show you how to do it with just the mouse. Uh, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So equals average open parentheses, this is the first one, left click, drag, close parentheses, enter, easy. Okay, so the average of all of these guys is 2.611. By the way, when you select uh, a bunch of cells, you can also, there's, they're going to show you some, uh, some descripti descriptive statistics down here as well. So there, there's the average, 2.6111. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over to uh, cell two, or range 2. So equals average, open parentheses, left click, drag down to the bottom right corner, close parentheses, enter. Uh, equals average, just type it in, left click up here, drag down, close parentheses, enter. Uh, equals average, what do I want to take the average of? these guys left click and drag close parentheses uh, by the way if I hit enter when I'm done with the formula it's gonna go to the next uh, down a cell if I hit tab it'll go uh, one cell to the right which is probably gonna be easier for me so watch this boom I went from there to there so the average of these guys is three average three okay let's go to the last one equals average uh, okay I'm gonna click down here and in this particular one I can't select a rectangle of just one cell I, I can only select it by itself so I want to take the average of one cell which is not uh, statistically super meaningful we I, I sure hope it's four uh, but you know uh, I want to show you how to do this stuff so here's how I do it uh, I'm gonna hit enter and sure enough the, the average of the number four by itself is four okay let's do it uh, with the keyboard this is the slowest way to do it uh, you probably shouldn't do it this way but you can, but you can. So I gave myself a cheat sheet over here um, so I don't accidentally type in the wrong numbers. So this guy should be L3 to uh, N8. So L3 colon, where do I want to draw the rectangle to? I want to draw the rectangle to N8. Notice how it automatically filled it in for me. Close parentheses, tab. Equals average, open parentheses, L10, that's the top left corner colon, where do I want to draw the rectangle to? The bottom right corner, which is P12. P12. Close parentheses, tab. Okay, equals average, open parentheses, L14 to L19. So the top left corner is L14. L14. Uh, I'm going to put a colon to let Excel know that I want to draw a rectangle. Where do I want to draw a rectangle to? Well, I want to draw it all the way down to L19. Close parentheses. Notice it selected it there. And tab equals average. Open parentheses. Oh boy, where am I at? Oh, I'm down here on this guy. L21 to O21. L21 colon. So when I draw a rectangle, O21. That's the other corner of the rectangle. 
close parentheses, tab equals average, open parentheses, uh, L23, uh, colon, because I want to draw a rectangle, I don't actually need to, it's going to do the exact same thing, 23, close parentheses, and I'm not sure actually now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if this is going to, uh, when I hit enter, I don't know if it's going to automatically reduce this just down to L23 with no colon, let's, let's find out, enter. Uh, okay, I'm going to double click on it to go into the formula, and sure enough, it uh, left it as is. Okay, so enter. So uh, the mouse is the way you'll probably do it by far the most when you're starting out with Excel. The keyboard, uh, it's good to know that you can do it that way, but you probably should never do it that way. That's really slow and, you know, error prone. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's slowly improve our methodology here. So we're, now we're going to use the, uh, the arrows with the colon. We're going to use the arrow keys. The arrow keys, which are the keys that have arrows on them, that's say you know they're arrow keys, and we're gonna use the colons. Okay, so it's uh, I hit the um, equals button, and I'm gonna arrow over, do do do, to the top left corner, and I'm gonna hit colon, and now I'm going to arrow down and arrow right, got the right size. Oh, <laughs> that's not going to work because. I need to put all this in an average. Oh, parentheses, close parentheses. All right, good. So let's go over to the next one. Equals average. Let's not forget it this time. Open parentheses. Use the arrow keys to jump over. Uh, hit the colon button. Now, when I use the arrow keys, it'll change the uh, the bottom right corner. Close parentheses tab equals average open parentheses arrow keys over colon arrow keys down close parentheses and enter oop should just hit tab equals average open parentheses uh, go down here colon right arrow over Close parentheses, tab, equals average, open parentheses, down here, colon, close parentheses, enter. Notice how uh, all these guys are lining up, which is uh, good. If they're not, it means we have a problem. It means we're typing in our formulas wrong. Because uh, they're all the same formula. We're just entering the exact same formula different ways. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna we're gonna still use the keyboard, but we're instead of using colon, we're gonna use the shift key. So I'm gonna do equals average. This way is a little faster. It's not the fastest, but this is a little easier to remember than the absolute fastest way. Okay, so I go up here to the top top corner. Now I'm just gonna hold down shift. <coughs> now I'm gonna while holding down shift, I'm gonna arrow down, and notice how it uh, draws the rectangle for me. Close parentheses, tab equals average. Open parentheses, arrow over. Man, this is slow. Uh, hold down the shift button because I'm in the top of left corner. And then when I arrow over, it's going to draw the rectangle for me. Close parentheses, tab equals average. Open parentheses, arrow over. Hold down the shift key, arrow down. Close parentheses, tab equals average. Open parentheses. Uh, arrow down over to the top left corner, hold down the shift button, arrow right, close parentheses, and tab equals average, open parentheses, I'm gonna go down here, um, I guess, you know, why not, I'll hold down the shift button, if I hold down the shift button, I'm gonna go over to the right, but now the, uh, the rectangle is too big, so I'm gonna go over to the left, oh, and when I did that, um, it, it removed the uh, the colon and the second reference to L23. Okay, so when I hit enter, uh, all is good. And notice when I'm over here, it sort of sees that I'm on this big block of things. And so when I, I enter a number here at the very end, it, it jumps me back there. It jumps me back there. Okay, so uh, that's that's a pretty fast way to do it. Here's the uh, sort of the slightly, I don't know, advanced isn't necessarily the right word. You may or may not remember these keyboard shortcuts, but this is uh, probably how I do it 90% of the time. So this is what you should probably do. We're going to go equals. Oh. We're going to <laughs> remember to type in average, or we're going to get uh, a meaningless answer. We're going to arrow over to the corner. 
And now we're going to hold down Control and Shift. Uh, shift, what you saw before, when I hold down Shift and use the arrow keys, it's going to uh, increase the size of the rectangle. When I hold down Control, whenever I press an arrow key, it's going to jump to the edge of sort of the, uh, the group of numbers that I'm with, right? So uh, see how there's this sort of white space there? It's going to jump. If I press down, it's going to jump there. And then if I press uh, right, it's going to jump there. I'm going to press down, right. Close parentheses, tab. Equals average. Open parentheses. I'm going to arrow over. Control shift. When I press down, it's going to jump down to the edge of this contiguous region, which is the technical name for it. Contiguous region means like it's like an island of numbers. So if the white space is the ocean, the numbers are like land. So it's going to jump to the edge of the land. So control shift down, control shift right, close parentheses, tab equals average, open parentheses, arrow over to the edge, uh, control shift down arrow to jump all the way to the bottom of the contiguous range. Uh, you probably don't want to go right. That's going to jump you all the way to the end of the workbook. So uh, in this case, uh, you just press control shift down arrow once. You hit tab equals average. Open parentheses. Head over to the corner. Control shift. Uh, I don't want to jump down. I'll show you what it happens when you jump down. It's, it's going to jump to the next island. See, so it's going to jump. It's going to cross the gap to the next island. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to control shift up to jump the gap uh, the opposite direction. Notice I go down, up, down, up. Okay, now, uh, so we don't want this four. We just want this stuff here. So I want to jump to the end of this uh, island of numbers. So control shift, right arrow. Close parentheses, tab, average, and <coughs> arrow over, uh, close parentheses, and uh, I don't know, you don't really have to do any of that control shift stuff because it's just one cell. Uh, but interestingly enough, uh, I'm, I'm going to press control enter this time, and what control enter is going to do, it actually does a couple things, um, but the one that we're going to be concerned about right here is I'm going to, it's going to enter the formula, but it's not going to move me. I'm going to stay on the same cell that I'm on. So notice I'm entering the formula for H14, and when I press Control, Enter, it didn't jump here, and it didn't jump there. It stayed where it was. So if I do equals 2 plus 2 and hit Control, Enter, Control, Enter, uh, I don't move cells. Uh, by the way, as long as you're here, I'll, I'll just show you the other thing that can, uh, that, and I won't leave you waiting. I'm going to show you the other thing that Control Enter does. If I uh, select a big group of cells, oh, by the way, uh, I'm holding down Shift and I'm using the arrow keys to select a big group of cells. Now, if I hit uh, equals 2 plus 2, when I hit Control Enter, when I hit Control Enter, it's going to copy this formula to every single cell that I've got selected right now, right? So I'm going to hit Control Enter, and notice, notice, that uh, this is 2 plus 2, this is 2 plus 2, oh, and this is 2 plus 2. Uh, okay, oh, you know, I'll show you one more example of that. Well, I'm probably going to do a whole video on that, but uh, I think it's a super useful concept. So if I go uh, over here, now let's not do that, that's too complicated, that's too complicated. We're just going to do a simple one again. Uh, we're going to do equals sum. I'm going to select this whole thing right here. I'm going to hit F4 once because I don't want it to move around. I'm going to grab the little four-way arrow thing, get that guy out of the way. Close parentheses, and I'm going to hit Control Enter to, to not uh, move when I enter the formula. It's not going to jump me here or here. And it's also going to enter that formula and all the cells that I've got selected. Control Enter. So the, the sum this guy right here is 47 and with one keystroke I've copied it to all those cells okay so I hope um, I hope you've seen uh, through this video that there's a lot of different ways to select a big group of cells um, none of them are very hard some of them are uh, much faster than others if you're new uh, the mouse is good it's a good way to get started uh, I would recommend learning the using the control and shift as quickly as possible because it'll it'll really speed you up you may be curious you may be curious why you would want to um, use, see, like this example here, why you would want to use a colon to select a rectangle that has a one and only one cell in it. 
Well, uh, that's something we're going to, uh, the reasons for that are something we're going to explore in the next video when we're going to uh, talk about how to create expanding ranges, ranges that uh, expand as you copy and paste them. So, uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next video.